Um, Stuart Bell taking four for her and uh, Big Rossi Beach, three for 11. We spoke, we've spoken about it a few times now. It's just looking at their list, they look thin. They look light on West Bend. Now, I think um, Casey played that didn't make any runs, but... Uh, he, he'll, he'll eventually find some form, but he's, he's coming off the delay stuff. As, as will everyone. But, um, you know, good for Union to, to notch up another another win. Um, big eye. I don't think he got a score again. Uh, but good to see Vaughan uh, making the most of his opportunity, getting a 20 of them, probably getting the guys. But, and uh, also, uh, Anno helped with uh, Vaughan with uh, 22. Um, so, it's you going to pass them four down. Yeah. Having all these one days, it's going to be quite a thin year, it seems, with, with the bat, because yeah. um, there hasn't really been really big scores yet. Um, but that's where I think Brighton, probably two days of cricket suits Brighton Union a bit more. Yes. And uh, especially when you've got bowlers like Feach and Cove, um, you know, and if Feach is fit, then, uh, you know, they're only going to get better and better. Yeah, so I guess with that point that you make about the, uh, the thin uh, results with batting, um, this week is unlikely to, to be playing. Who knows, you know, let's not be of the mindset that it's all over, but um, if we go to five rounds of one day, followed by two two days, and then back after Christmas, two one days, um, yeah, it's an interesting competition at the moment. It's only been 38 over games on Saturdays and 20 over games on Wednesdays. That's what surprised me that Mackies, because generally they've been very good one day, one day teams. So they've got the, 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 the big hitting talent to yeah, so, yeah. yeah, but obviously they five, but. Uh, that's interesting, Mackie's one and three. It's going to be interesting to see how they yeah, can come out. I don't know who they've got this week. Mm. Um, but it's um, yeah, a bit of pressure down there. Right? Yeah. So Bentley and Nightingale undefeated on 4-zip, uh, um, as expected. But uh, the, you know, the interesting challenges, obviously you've got East Sandringham who are there on 3-1. and one, But uh, LePage, Elwood and Carnegie South are all on 3-1 and one as well. LePage and Carnegie South, as we've spoken about before, they're, they're the two bolters of the competition at this point in time. But I guess, um, you know, as, as we play uh, uh, round five, that will really start to feel whether these clubs are, mm. are the real stuff or not. Come to two day cricket, because again, the page, it sort of suits them to play one day cricket, and it can't be worse before they generally do well in one day cricket as well. So, two day cricket will sort out, um, obviously, that top four for sure. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. It's like what I said, it's going to be a tight year. Yeah, um, You've got to make the most of every opportunity. So, um, you know, it's going to be good, good okay. to watch. No worries. All right, well, that's it for uh, round five, and um, hopefully we get some action on Saturday. Anyway, take care. Thank you.